Welcome back, Antonio Wells here, Android Tap, Android App Reviews. Taking a look at Smart Document Scanner, an app that makes the need for traditional scanner equipment a thing of the past. If you have an Android phone or tablet, you can scan photos, documents, business cards, receipts, and more, plus export to PDF format for easy digital sharing. Create multiple page documents and use OCR to automatically detect text in a document for simple copy and pasting or let the app auto-process your scans. Let's delve into the features in this video review. Smart Document Scanner allows you to scan several document types and save them to your device plus export to PDF format. Getting started categorizes the various document types you would typically create into folders. These include business cards, documents, receipts, and whiteboards. Of course, you can add new ones by pressing the plus button above or deleting existing ones. When entering the folder and scanning, each are placed as individual documents. You enter a document because this can contain several scans to build a multi-page document when exporting. You can take a picture from within the app or import photos from your gallery. Though I find myself reprocessing or just opting to manually prep scans because the automated feature is hit or miss. I value the fact that the original scan is always retained if you need to revisit processing. In the processing screen, you can crop by pulling the corners represented by blue circles. These are affixed to a blue rectangle. A small preview bubble will magnify the area you're tweaking for more precise nudging. If your crop rectangle is off, it will turn red. There are image settings to lighten, which I find to be the best setting as it does an HDR effect on the scan rather than just brighten the image. Then there's Smartify, which I find to be the worst setting as it oversaturates the colors and overexposes the image. Then there's grayscale, black and white, and white and black effects. Additionally, you can control the overall contrast, brightness, exposure, and image rotation. There is a convenient OCR feature you can slide down to reveal, then import the text. Overall, I find that the scanning conditions like scan materials, lighting, background, and steady hands make the world of a difference in the OCR feature. To explain, if you're scanning something with glossy or reflective materials, like a magazine, the glare can affect the OCR scan from properly picking up words. I also found if you scan against a dark background, it helps the auto crop feature of the app. Lastly, if there's any blur from shaky hands, when capturing the photo, the OCR text can be affected obviously. With these tips, Smart Document Scanner can do a good job of converting the text with only little need to tweak thereafter. It took me a couple of tries to master it. Now that you know the secret sauce, hopefully you can accomplish great scans on your first try. The app is free to download, but its limitations places a watermark signature at the bottom of exported PDF documents and only allows a limited number of scans and annotations or notes. Whereas the premium version for $4.99 a year removes watermarks, offers unlimited numbers of scans and annotations, syncs to Google Drive, SkyDrive, and Evernote, allows editable OCR text and batch scans. I personally love productivity apps like these because they alleviate the need to tether to the office equipment. In the past, if I had a contract to execute on the go, I could either make two copies and have both parties sign each and take a copy. With scanner apps like these, I can take a picture of the executed document, export to PDF, print out and archive later in the office. It just adds a level of convenience to a mobile office. So should you download Smart Document Scanner? Yes, if you're like myself and have a need for scanning documents while out of the office, then Smart Document Scanner can satisfy your needs. There are a few hiccups with the automated features, but I encourage you to tweak manually for better results. Download the free app and give it a try, or opt for the premium version, which is only five bucks a year. This has been Antonio Wells with Android Tap, Android App Reviews, and I'm signing out. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. If you like this, hit the thumbs up button and hit us up on Twitter, Facebook, and Google+.